Uh, 20, 20, 20, um, <laughs> how long has it really been? 13 years. 13 years, bro? Yeah. <clears throat> so it'll it's actually, yeah, it's only the same, because that was when you first got it's here. Literally, I was just about to say that, when I first got out here. That's crazy. Hell yeah. You was like one of the first artists that I worked with out here, for real. Nah, I, I remember hearing the beats. I was like, oh, this is a. I, I remember I was not that good at communication, still ain't. And <laughs> the way I was like, bro, your beats are really good because they make me bob my head. I don't never bob my head to nobody's shit. <laughs> no, I feel. I remember saying that because that's how I felt. I was like, oh, man. No, this yeah. Is great. I, I definitely understood what you were saying, though. Shit, it, it can go a lot of different ways. Thankfully, it's it's yeah. not a slow process. Um, it's it could be one of it could be me like, hey, bro, this happened and blah blah doo, -doo and you like bet, <laughs> or we might just be like, fuck, all right, whatever, and then you just start doing some shit and I start writing. Yeah, we go from there. Luckily, it's not a very complicated process. Yeah, one thousand percent. Yeah, um, I would say quick honestly as well you literally took the took the words out of my mouth we, we really be creating based off of situations that occur yeah and i think that's what makes the most authentic music honestly um which is why i'm so excited about this joint Hell yeah. um but i really think that's the base mark for us we'll get in the session um whether it be me Starting to cook up something, and you'd be like, I think I got some shit to that. Or yeah. I can write something to that. You're taking a few, not very long at all. <laughs> and you got some shit already written, pan, hooks, <coughs> libs already done, all of that shit already out the way. Um, so yeah, it's really like a good collaboration. I think it has to, a lot to do with how long you're working together too. Right. You've been working together for a minute. So seeing a lot of different transitions, a lot of different processes of working, processes of writing and all of that shit. So um, yeah, it's been good though. Very fucking good. So um, from my perspective, uh, the law of detachment is one of the seven spiritual laws. And that's important to me because that was a big shift in my spirituality and personality um, when I really started making things work for myself. Um, but to be specific, law of detachment in a nutshell essentially means that you detach from the shit that you want. Now, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm detaching from this cold. He does it, bro. <laughs> but, um, headed that out. Now, but, uh, so essentially it doesn't mean you lose your intention or desire, which is another one of the seven spiritual laws. It just means that you detach yourself from the end goal. Um, now again, just to be a little more specific, it doesn't mean you don't know what you want. It means like essentially what the trophy is. Cause there's a trophy and then there's the actual win. So in life, a lot of times people, people chase trophies. Those trophies represent a different thing than what it actually means to get to your destination. Like the actual wealth is your freedom. It doesn't mean yeah. the house is the ability to buy the house and shit like that. Yeah. So when you really master the law of detachment, it brings you a little bit closer to what you're trying to get because you don't have those worldly desires. It keeps you away from like, ah, I want that shit. Right, facts. And even going off of that, um, specifically on my side as well, I, in a meeting for me, um, it's really the ability to detach yourself from those things that don't necessarily mean the most in the achievement of better. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And, and as well as the absolute end goal enjoying the process. Um, because that's a, that's a major thing too. Uh, and it's a continuous and continual learning thing. Like tested in waves, it's gonna come through in waves, temptation is gonna come through in waves to actually be attached to different things, go through different things, and different things that you know that you're able to go with or do. You know what I'm saying? That's not necessarily the best application of your energy. Um, and yeah, all of the following, having the ability to hone in and detach from that shit um, to achieve better, for sure. Shit. I, it was, shit, go back to the first question. It was just right. one of them things. Niggas just started cooking and it was just like, okay, well, let's talk about what the fuck is going on right now. Yeah. I can, I can say for me, as far as the writing goes, um, that's honestly where my head space was. I was just in the realization of um, what was working for me. It wasn't necessarily, you know, I feel like there's some writing where it's like, it could be angsty or like yeah. expressive. This was more so like, 
hey, I could see the situation. This was going on. I had, I had to lean into the motherfucking attachment. Right. And that, that's all true shit. It's all, the whole song is about things that was going on at that time. And it's still going on too. Fact. But just the, for me, the realization of like, okay, now nah, I got a, I got a little bit of attachment. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel you. I think um, what inspired it on my side, as far as the instrumental, was a lot of the things that we were discussing. I think we had a session uh, discussing a lot of shit. Oh, yeah. As we always do. Yeah. A lot of the session time is spent just rapping about things that's going on because that's where a lot of the inspiration is drawn to create. Yeah. But I think that's really what it was. One of those convos um, may, whether it have been over the phone, on the way to the stool, or whatever, um, we was just rapping about some shit in regard to that. I think it was very uh, synonymous with the journey that I was going through too. You know? Facts. So, yeah. I love that shit. Facts. That's how you know that like, the, the creativity is so genuine. Like the paths intersecting and that shit is crazy. Dude. Can't even put words to it. Bet I got a bitch to distract me. <laughs> Actually, excuse me, man, but that's why the part I like about it, because again, I've written before from points of complaining, but this time it was like, I've been on a roll as late yeah. getting my paper. Yeah, facts. I've been on a roll as late. Not every little <laughs> hoe want a date, but I got a schedule for the dates. Bitch, I'm booked and busy. Yeah, man. Can't afford to be uh, out here frolicking. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Frolicking bastards. <laughs> Can't afford to be out here just going to fucking feel the daisies. <laughs> Thanks. I would say, literally, the the conversation, yeah. not even the beat or the lyrics. I can't remember which one came first, though. You know. Chicken head. Nah, it was definitely the beat. <laughs> um, because okay, wait, I remember wait, wait. the sample. Word. Oh man. Yeah, that was beautiful. That yeah. hook was perfect. I didn't know what the fuck was saying to her. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. I broke it down, acapella on that. Found out exactly everything. But um that was the that was the start point. Yeah. That sample, even for me. Um so once everything got laid around that, it was like, you know, butter and lobster. Oh man. She I, I think on a technical I'm just trying I'm fighting ice tea boys. <laughs> On a technical level, I like it because it's um I feel like I um I got to a really good point in my writing that I'm very proud of where I've learned how to be more rhythmic without overdoing it. Mm -hmm. And still like excuse me, damn, excuse me. But having that appropriate space to like start off a certain way and have it still be consistent throughout the whole verse. Yeah. But um but also I've just been paying more attention to the rhythms and stuff and the tone of my voice. So it's like while I, I might be saying certain things that's like, okay, like these are all cool words. Mm -hmm. Even if you just listening to it um, orally, it's still like, oh, what the fuck? This, yeah. this is doing something for me. Yeah, I feel you. And this is probably like, as far as this year goes, like, um, or this fiscally, I don't fucking know how we do time. But um, <laughs> probably like, that was like the start of like better writing for me. That was like kind of like one of those anchor points. Like, oh, okay, we got some right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure, I think that as well for me, how the instrumental sample, instrumentation, lyrics, rhythmic, I guess, choices that you made and how those lyrics are said, the approach, all of it, it's like a melting pot. Yeah. I really think that that's really what sets it apart. It's, um, I don't know, I think it just all elevated each other. Nothing was, I guess, all right, that's cool. It was always, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I think <coughs> that needed to elevate it and take it to the next level. Um, I think really that's what sets it apart. I think it's a dope track. And uh, lyrically, something that is cohesive, not yeah. necessarily just feel good. It feels great, but it's it feels great. And it's a, a record that, that you'll get something from. It's common. Yeah. I also, it's common theme, but I also think um, what I like too is like if, if you are a fan of whatever you would call me and your combination of music, yeah, I think this is a very good culmination of that. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot of you at your best and me at my best for sure. And like what really works for us and our sound. One thousand. I think um, the best way to do it is to listen, uh, listen to what is happening. I honestly think as artists, as songwriters. A lot of our content, our best, most authentic content, we live it. 
Um, we're almost chosen. We got a whole bunch of things going on at the same time. A lot of things be happening. Um, some great, some bad. And I think all of it, from your perspective, should be written about. I think that's uh, what I start with when I start to, I guess, capture and create something for schools. And he's off kilter, you know? Not in a bad way, yeah. but like things that's not necessarily cookie cutter, which I love because that gives me a chance to create and implement my sound more. And I think it just meshes really well. Um, but something that allows you to sit back and think, something that's interesting, I think will be the start point for something for schools. Uh, whether it be something that makes you think or makes you move. One of those things. Uh, yeah, one of those are the start points. Shit, I don't ask too many questions. <laughs> no, Honestly. Uh, that's a good point, bro. That's a good point. You allow yourself to be produced too. Yeah, that's a that's a big one. Oh, nigga, that's such a blessing. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I just I like my, I start off however the fuck it's supposed to be. I look that's a god thing. I let it. I just let it happen. I don't question shit. I think of just a little bit, and I just kind of trust. Shit, that's a therapy lesson I got too. Sometimes as musicians and artists, we um we we're like literally built to over prepare. Because yeah. you're supposed to just be ready for everything, but the problem that comes with that when you, when you think too hard or you over-prepare is you start to question your initial judgment. A lot of times you did all that shit just to be able to be as talented as you are in that this exact moment. Facts. And then when it goes to being a producer, that's to, I, I'm really big on just letting niggas do their job. Yeah. I produce myself before. I've engineered myself before. I've done every job that somebody could do for me. So I know exactly how to shut the fuck up and get out the way because right. otherwise I'd be doing it, not somebody who's doing it better than me. No, I feel you. I feel you. And I think it's it's also, even going back to the other point that I was making before this, uh, even if it's tracks that you started on, tracks that we're co-producing, yeah. um, you send me the vibe that's initial and that's the thought, and I just try and elevate that as much as possible, even trusting what you have set as a baseline for what you want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Just to build off of it. As crazy as it is, as off, as dope as it sounds, as much of a feeling as it is, because I, I mean, we already got almost like a, I wouldn't say a formula, but it's a, it's a certain wave um, and a vibration, I guess, that I can get a feeling from the track. You can almost say a MAP. If you don't stop, <laughs> <laughs> you about to bring them back. <laughs> Bro, that's a super crazy callback. Man, that's an ironic question. Mm -hmm. Cause the whole point of the, the shit is detachment. Crazy, but, right? Again, there's there's levels. Um, I would say I don't got any expectations, but I do have uh um standards and hopes and what I think, which is pretty much just another way of saying exactly what you're saying. Hey, it's all good, bro. Man, I'm yo, a million streams. I feel you. Off rip. There's a million of them. It's gonna change somebody's life. Yeah. Uh, someone's gonna hear this when they need to hear it. Someone is gonna see me perform this and be like, "Yo, I want to get back into the game." Like, yeah. this is it's, it's, this shit is powerful. Yeah. Even if the person I'm talking about is me, like I th this shit is is gonna do well. But I honestly do, outside of being hopeful, think it's gonna do well. Just um, just cause the sonics and shit. One thousand percent. Yeah. And then that's perspective. It's well as well as me as well done like a dry ass state. <laughs> No, for sure. I, I did up everything you said for real. Um, extremely great expectations for, uh, I guess it's just to reach a larger audience and Thanks. the people who it needs to reach. It reaching the people who it needs to reach. I guess that's my expectation. I think it will also help a lot of people. I think it's one of those joints that'll help you and uh, encourage you to just keep on pushing forward. You know what I'm saying? Any? Man. Any? I think I think I have it, some of it recorded, like on yeah. video. I'm not sure though. Oh, that's perfect. I gotta ask Chris. Yeah. I, I, I be losing shy to shit. Um, man, you sound old as hell. You know, man, where is that got that? <laughs> where did I put that, that video footage? No, but I feel my thumb. Nah, no, but um, yeah, I, it, so for me, it won't. Wow, I gotta turn the rage off. <laughs> Man, it, um, <laughs> I would say for sure. I think one of the uh, you be having a hella crazy stories and sessions. Yeah, I think 
those stories, which I ain't even gonna repeat, because they be wild. <laughs> Some of those things be crazy and be hilarious long after it said, but I, I think that's probably one of the most memorable. And then, of course, recording um, the vibe of the session itself. It was quick. I think we all did it. We did it all in one session. So, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, so I think that was probably one of the uh, highlights as well. To be fair, we do a lot of shit. Yeah, bro, so much. And a lot of performances clustered up just happened. Yeah. So, everything is just all uh, meshing together. But, great session nonetheless. Perspective. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, caught it. <laughs> uh, me, man, I just, uh, I, mean, I just don't really have too many expectations for myself. I have standards for myself, but, yeah. um, I try not to expect nothing. Like, again, coincidentally, it goes into the, the, the thing of the song, for real, for real. I mm. detach myself from that shit. That's really what helps me with, so it's, there's a lot of shit that niggas gotta be stressed over in regards to doing this shit when it comes yeah. to making it, man. That's the fun part. Yeah. Um, as far as for the, the performance of the song, we're lucky enough that a lot of these things is kind of in our hands these days. Facts. And, um, you know, it, it's the energy we put behind it. You know, we, it's already motherfuckers excited about this shit. You know, we barely didn't scratch the motherfucking surface. Facts. So, um, I, and I feel like it's only going to encourage us more and more we see people fuck with us too. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, I guess, progress is motivation. Yeah. And I think that progress is definitely going to be motivation. Has already been from the reception that we've received already from just little clips of it. You feel me? Already batteries in the back. So, um, yeah.